Abraham Lincoln, who took advantage of a military conflict, to stretch his powers as commander-in-chief, to the point of issuing the Emancipation Proclamation, has been downgraded in the post-1960s world, for not having done it sooner, more sweepingly, with more fervent moral rhetoric, and with affirmations of the equality of the races thrown in. The serious legal and political risks that Lincoln took when he emancipated southern slaves are ignored. There was no groundswell of public opinion, even in the North, for freeing slaves. On the contrary, in a war-weary nation, it was feared that the Emancipation Proclamation would stiffen Southern resistance, and reduce the chances of an early negotiated settlement, of a conflict that killed more Americans than any other war, before or since. Lincoln himself was unsure what the net military effect of the proclamation would be. Yet military necessity was the only rationale, that had either a constitutional basis or a political chance of being accepted. Those in later times who judge only by words may be disappointed, that Lincoln did not make a ringing moral case for emancipation. But seldom, if ever, do they ask whether that would have made the proclamation more likely, or less likely to survive both constitutional and political challenges. Despite Lincoln's mastery of moral rhetoric, some consider his Gettysburg Address the finest speech in the English language. The Emancipation Proclamation was written in such dry and dull language, that it has been likened to a bill of lading. But Lincoln understood that ringing rhetoric can be as counterproductive in some situations, as it is inspiring in others. To have made the moral case for emancipation in the proclamation, would have undermined its acceptance as a matter of military necessity. The earlier emancipation of slaves in the British Empire likewise invoked military necessity and avoided ringing humanitarian rhetoric, in order to maximize the range of its political support. As a distinguished scholar aptly put it, we are so conditioned to expecting interest to masquerade as altruism that we may miss altruism, when concealed beneath the cloak of interest. As it was, Lincoln was viciously attacked in the Democrats' press for issuing the Emancipation Proclamation. Nor was this simply a question of his own political career being in jeopardy. Lincoln warned Andrew Johnson, to remember that it cannot be known who is next to occupy the position I now hold, nor what he will do at this critical moment in the history of the nation, and of the fight against slavery. William Lloyd Garrison could indulge in ringing rhetoric, without regard to the consequences but Abraham Lincoln had the heavy responsibility of consequences squarely on his shoulders as he faced his countrymen, and history. Lincoln had been elected to his first term by a plurality, rather than a majority, and it was by no means certain that he would be re-elected, especially with the controversy over the Emancipation Proclamation swirling around him. Those who view slavery as an abstract moral issue are as disappointed with Lincoln today as William Lloyd Garrison was at the time. Garrison was dissatisfied with the language of the Emancipation Proclamation, and with the fact that it did not decree the total abolition of slavery, rather than just its abolition in the southern states at war. He seemed oblivious to the huge legal and political risks that Lincoln was taking, as many in later times would be when they criticized the limits of his actions and words. But had Lincoln's real concerns extended no further than the military effects of the Emancipation Proclamation, it would be hard to explain his many and strenuous behind-the-scenes efforts to get slave-holding border states and the Congress of the United States to extend the ban on slavery to the whole country. Garrison's rhetoric may look better to a later generation but the cold fact is that William Lloyd Garrison did not free a single slave, while Abraham Lincoln freed millions. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing.